killing the son of Jirubati Kenya. We never got the reports expressing, showing us how that son died. We have seen Jakana Naduli dying. We haven't seen any report raising why he died and how he died, but we saw him being abducted, being tortured, and again he died. Why? Because Mr. Mseve doesn't want anyone to be against his son as he tries to create a, a, a country that is led like his home. You understand what we are saying? So the point is, Ugandans are ready to demonstrate peace free in a country like USA. They have the right, they have the right to come here and demonstrate here at the embassy of China and show the world that they are suffering, they are dying because the man, Mr. Museven, and his small team of 0.001% are taking all the resources, are killing Ugandans that are opposing him. Can you imagine? So, you can are ready to demonstrate and show whatever is happening to them back home and also rise up and say, God is on our side. We are soon leaving this place. At least the message has reached. People are in the windows there watching us. And the message has reached. Iakop EU, you can thank you for whatever you've done. And of course, Right now they are heading to the French embassy to send the same message of Airco because Toto comes from France and France is part of the EU, European Union and these integrations are made to support people not only in their countries, not only in the member states of the integration but also the people that are in other countries that are in alliance with them. So they are saying, France, you should get to know that Uganda has people, citizens, and has leaders that are dictators. And of course, the message is still going. Semakad is also addressing, addressing the... China vacate from Uganda. We love our country, Uganda. Chinese, leave our country in peace. We want our people. Stop killing our people. We love our people. Black lives matter. Stop. Uh, we hope the East African crude oil pipeline project is a scam. It is a scam because Uganda will apparently gain 15%. Uganda, which hosts its oil. It shall take an equal share with Tanzania, which doesn't have its oil. And apparently it is freezing some of its land for the purpose of carrying oil. China and France will take 70%. That is in theory and on paper. Can you imagine that? This is a scam. The details of this argument we are hidden from the people of Uganda and their sovereign institutions, including the parliament of Uganda. Two MPs who are critical to make this decision were arrested and are still detained without trial, simply to intimidate the other MPs at the time the equal clause were passed. This, this project has never received adequate public scrutiny. And yet, it deals with the futures of Uganda, of Uganda, succeeding generations of Uganda. Ugop is a scam because this money has already been shared, and the moment we strike fast oil, a few families will move to Uganda. They will be very corrupt. We know the playbook. We have seen it in Nigeria. We have seen it elsewhere in Angola, where oil is used to dismantle the democratic architecture of a country and put it in the hands of a few Ugandans and non-Ugandans. Let us maintain this struggle against the hope.
for the present and future generations of Ugandans. I thank you. People power! People power! Our power! Our power! Free Uganda! Free Uganda! China stop funding the dictator in Uganda! People power! People power! People power! People power! People power! Our power! Yeah, the message continues to rise to be saying to Ugandans and the international community. We all know ECOP is a scam. ECOP is a time bomb. ECOP is a climate bomb.